ኣብ ነምስየ we have seen three different processes associated with polarization one is electronic polarization two ionic polarization and three orientational polarization what what does the word polarization mean polarization simply means separate or separation of or moving apart of positive and negative charges in a system to a small extent now a material which generates or creates an electric field that opposes an applied electric field is generally known as a dielectric material we will see the difference between conductor insulator and dielectric in the next posting in this posting we introduce a new quantity called dielectric constant as i said just a moment ago a dielectric is a material which produces an applied electric field by creating dipoles dipole moment or rearranging the already existing dipole moment in a particular way such that the net electric field within the material is reduced i see this figure uh, these are two parallel metal plates charged with equal and opposite electric charges <clears throat> the surface density of charge on each plate is having a magnitude sigma sigma is called bound charge density bound charge density inside this within the metal plates we introduce a dielectric material in the form of a say rectangular slab by polarization a net negative charge appears on this face and an equal positive charge on this face of the slab definitely this these charges or the density of these charges will be of magnitude less than sigma such a material is specially called dielectric material if the two charge densities are equal that material becomes a good conductor we will discuss it in the next posting as 
sigma i is the surface density of charge on the face of the slab. Sigma i is called induced charge density or polarization charge density. Polarization charge density. Now we have two electric fields here. One is the applied electric field or electric field created by the bound charge density. Let it be E0. The other is the field dense field intensity created by the induced charge density let it be e i these two fields oppose each other so that resultant intensity within the slab becomes e equals e0 minus e i thus there is a reduction in intensity of the field inside the dielectric slab. This reduced reduction in charge can be expressed as a fraction. So you can express any change in the form of a fraction. So like this. E equals E0 minus Ci means the resultant field is reduced from E0 by an amount E0 minus Ei. We can express it as a fraction like this E equals E0 by epsilon r where epsilon r is a number greater than 1. And we, we know E0 equals sigma by epsilon 0. So that now E equals or electric field inside the dielectric slab E equals sigma by epsilon 0 epsilon r. Or E equals sigma by epsilon where epsilon equals epsilon 0 into epsilon r or epsilon r equals epsilon by epsilon 0. Here epsilon is called absolute permittivity of the material. Epsilon 0 as we have seen earlier is the is called permittivity or absolute permittivity of free space. Epsilon R is called relative permittivity or dielectric constant or specific inductive capacitance or dielectric coefficient. The most commonly used name is dielectric constant. Dielectric constant of mica is of the order of 6. That of water is about 81. The dielectric constant varies from material to material. And we will see something more about dielectric constant when we discuss the difference between insulator and dielectric as well as contractor. Now we introduce at another quantity. Now you can treat this dielectric slab as a whole as a big dielectric, I'm sorry, big dipole. A charge on this face, charge's density is sigma i. Let A be the area of each face. Then 
charge a total charge on one phase will have the magnitude a into sigma i because sigma is charge density or charge per unit area sigma equals q by a so that q equals sigma into a so charge total charge on this phase is minus sigma i into a and charge of this phase is plus sigma i into a so these two charges are separated by a distance d so you can treat the entire polarized slab as a large dipole of moment q into d that is sigma i into d sigma i into d sigma i into d sigma i into a into d equals sigma i into a into d area phase area into thickness that represents volume of the dielectric slab therefore the total moment of this slab is sigma i into volume therefore dielectric dipole moment total dipole moment per unit to volume is total moment by volume or that is sigma i this sigma i is or dielectric moment per unit volume of the slab is represented by the symbol capital p and capital p is called polarization vector or that is a quantity which represents the extent of polarization generated or produced in the slab in the material in the, the p is a constant for a particular substance now numerically p is equal to induced the charge density or polarization charge density so that unit of p is coulomb per meter square same as that of surface density of charge now with the introduction of the new constant epsilon r we can express every electrical quantity with that involves this new constant for example if two charges q1 and q2 are placed in a dielectric medium we will write coulomb's law as f equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into epsilon r into q1 q2 by r square for free space epsilon r equals 1 because epsilon r equals epsilon by epsilon 0 absolute permittivity of the medium divided by absolute permittivity of free space so that relative permittivity of free space epsilon r equals epsilon 0 by epsilon 0 that is 1 so that the formula reduces to 1 which we have seen earlier f equals 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into q1 q2 by r square where the charges are placed in free space so in general if the medium surrounding medium is not free space we will write coulomb's law as 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 epsilon r into q1 q2 by r square this epsilon r will appear very fair where the permittivity is a factor for example electric intensity due to a point charge q situated in a dielectric medium is e equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 epsilon r into q by r square or e equals 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q by r square 
Now, electric force between two charges, intensity of a charge, etc., depend on the property of the medium in which the charges are placed. That property is nothing but epsilon values. So if we want a quantity which is independent of the nature of the medium and that quantity is of utmost importance, we will see the application of that quantity later. Now just to, for example, here e, e, intensity due to a single point charge is e, uh, e equals 1 by 4 by epsilon into epsilon 0 epsilon r is epsilon. 1 by 4 by epsilon into q by r square. Just you multiply both sides of the equation by epsilon. Then you get epsilon into e equals 1 by 4 pi, 4 pi into q by r square. This factor is independent of epsilon. That is, this factor is independent of the nature of the surrounding medium. This quantity, that is epsilon into E, is denoted by the symbol capital D. Capital D is called electric displacement. So electric displacement B equals absolute permittivity into electric intensity. We will see the significance of displacement later. For the time being, we will stop here. Thank you.